Hello, this is Kilga with a new sort of project here. Um, in the vein of Super Mario Cell World, we're going to give Super Mario Cell Land a try. But as you can see there, we're going to give it a try with the Alice. We have Alice Stage and Alice Extra over here instead of the normal Mario Cell playthrough. And as you saw from that quick short demo there, Alice's gimmick is that she is always small, whereas Mario Cell can, grink, can shrink and grow as for the standard Mario game. Alice is always small. And if you get a mushroom like that to help, help that would help Marisa grow, she dies, Alice dies instead. Um, just a bit of a preview actually, I am I will show you one stage with Marisa just to show the, the normal, um, the normal gameplay mechanics, you'll see it's, it's, this game is very Super Mario Brothers ish in nature, especially with the physics. So you start with, um, head proportions, two is the lowest, if you get hit when you're at two, you die. If you hit when you're at three, I believe you shrink back down to two. Um, unlike Super Mario Cell World, you need to you need to hold a button to run, uh, and that would be the you're, I'm using I'm using Z to jump and X to run, apparently. Yeah, see, look, that's very much like Super Mario Brothers with the with um, crazy obnoxious mid-air momentum. All right, forehead proportion means that you can now break bricks. You couldn't do that at two or three, and there's. Fuzzy guy jumping off the edge to his death. See, they're, they're much nicer looking in this game than they were in Mega Mario, aren't, aren't they? And they're much less varied in this game than they are in Mega Mario 2. Um, uh, 100 of those point items gives you an extra life, if I remember correctly. I get another mushroom. When you're at four, when you're at four head proportion, you get another regular mushroom like that. Then it'll it'll just turn into more point items. There are ways to go beyond forehead proportion, although I think that looks the closest approximately to what Marisa actually was intended to be, look-wise and age-wise, by zoom. Uh, you can go to six head proportion. Oh, look at that, I got hit, now it's small again. You can go to six head proportion, which allows you to shoot, um, shoot magic bolts, and the eight head proportion allows her to, uh, basically, the invincibility star. You may recognize um, if you're watching if you're watching a Mega Mario playthrough. By the way, see here, three head proportion can't break the bricks. You may recognize the music, the Mega Mario music with um, for Hatchy Castle Three was a remix of this song, and you'll see all the the bricks and the and the power of blocks and whatnot are all were all from that stage as well. Very obnoxious momentum. You thought the Super Mario the World's controls, you will gain a new appreciation for them when you play this game. And just, you you end the stage by getting to the end there, like that. Try next stage, no thanks. What we're going to do is, we are actually going to, oh, and by the way, you can control Marisa. For some reason. On the stage slash screen. What we're going to do, we're going to do the Alice stages. I have... I played the game through with Marisa, but it was a long time ago, and I don't remember a whole lot about it. And Alice is sufficiently different, she's harder to play through, because of the whole mushrooms will kill you thing. But in return for that, she can actually throw Shanghai dolls, that's kind of like the, the hammers. So, what am I doing here? Okay. Alright, so let's take on the first stage here. See, look at that. Oh, they throw Marisa dolls, not uh... Yeah, see, if I get that, I die. You can see down the bottom right there, it says two head proportion only. The, the one annoying thing is that throwing dolls is mapped to the run button. So you gotta, if you wanna throw one doll, if you wanna throw a doll, you have to stop running. You can also only have one doll active at a time. I can't, I can't fire another one until the first one has, oh God. I can't fire a second doll. Who did I shot? Can't fire a second doll until after the first is either hit an enemy or a block or the ground or something like that. Oh. Excuse me. Yay, point items. Wait, which way do I want to go? That was a particularly high jump. I wonder if that was supposed to be that way. Let's try and do that again. Yeah, I guess it was just a running jump height. So yeah, this is um 
This was the game. This was Super Mario Super World before Super Mario Super World came around. This is because people were aggravated with the Super Mario Brothers, like the original NES Super Mario Brothers styles of controls. And they are irritating, especially after you've been playing Super Mario Super World for as long as I have to try and go back to this. It's a huge pain in the ass. I believe Alice can also kill things by jumping on them. It's just easy to do with, uh, with Mice and Dolls. That one has a uh, thing in it. I don't want that. Get rid of these guys. Unfortunately, they, they don't. The, the Mighty Sedals don't have the momentum deal that the that the, the hammers in Super Mario Bros. 3 and the the black and yang orbs in Super Mario Bros. World had going for them. It's just it's a straight arc like that, so they're a little bit harder to aim. Whoa, whoa, oh jeez. All right, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. And there we go, first level done. This is going to be a little bit similar to Mario, so we're only in, in this sense that I'm going to be doing the stages one at a time, and I'm going to get five lives in each. Apparently. I don't think it'll skip right to the next stage. No, it won't. I can control when I go to the next stage, soon by doing that, then we go to two. And that'll be for my next video. This is just um, this is an introduction video to Super Mario Land, my next project. Uh, it will not be the only project I'm doing. I am very, I'm giving very strong consideration to doing something that is... That will be, um, not Toho at all, actually. It won't be Rosencroix to let either. I'm waiting for the translation patch on that one, if there ever will be one. Um, so yeah, um, let's go. I hope you enjoy watching this, and I will see you next time. Oh, and, um, extra shout-out to Thursday for, um, whoa! Oh, the yeah, Amherst, oh yeah, anyway. Extra shout-out to Thursday, because she looks genuinely impressed at the panel on Saturday when I told her that this was me. So yeah. Hello Thursday, I hope you're having a great day. And the best to you, hope to see you later.